A final farewell. Thousands say goodbye today to Laker legend Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. Thanks so much for joining us for the nightly check-in here on Monday, February 24th. I'm Mark Mullen. And I'm Bridget Naso. It was an emotional and star-studded tribute held at Staples Center. The service for Kobe and Gigi began with one of Kobe's favorite songs, XO by Beyonce. So the performance was followed by a number of speeches, really heartfelt, from Kobe's family, friends, and basketball peers. Kobe's wife even took the stage and spoke bravely through the pain, describing the immense hole their deaths have left. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Today we learn that Vanessa Bryant has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the helicopter operator. She states the pilot was careless, negligent, and flying too fast in cloudy conditions on the day Kobe and Gigi were killed. A spokesperson for Island Express Helicopters called the crash a tragic accident and says the company will not be commenting on the lawsuit. Police say a transient was one, the one responsible for trying to snatch a one-year-old toddler from her mother at the Parkway Plaza Mall over the weekend. Police say the suspect is 40-year-old Dallas Jones. They say they were able to make a quick arrest with the help of witnesses. The incident happened on Sunday afternoon. The mother told police she was walking with her child when the suspect tried to tug the child away. Investigators from the NTSB are looking into the deadly charter bus crash near Fallbrook over the weekend. This is we're learning more about the three people killed. They are 67-year-old Maria De La Luz Diaz from Riverside and 73-year-old Julia Perez Cornejo from Pasadena. The third person is an unidentified 23-year-old woman from Mexico. According to the CHP, the charter bus was headed for Tijuana, coming from El Monte when it hit heavy rain and flipped over. 18 others were hurt in this crash. Teachers and parents in the Sweetwater Union High School District are making their voices heard tonight as the district plans to vote on layoffs of teachers and cuts to programs. This all goes back to the beginning of the 2018-19 school year when the district realized it had overspent by $30 million in the previous school year. It's now considering laying off 237 teachers and librarians and closing 12 learning centers to make up for the shortfall. We'll have the outcome on NBC.com later tonight. Vaccine exemptions for children are causing more controversy for San Diego schools this week. The state medical board is now suing the San Diego Unified School District for information on students who've been exempt from getting vaccines. The board says it wants to investigate those exemptions. NBC7 spoke with one parent who says the exemptions were granted for medical reasons and the three doctors who granted the exemptions are being unfairly targeted. People are look, seeking help and seeking specialists to have an exemption for their kid for a legitimate reason and only would a doctor for a legitimate reason ever write an exemption. NBC7 reached out to San Diego Unified. The district says parents were notified. Several objected and one parent asked the court to prohibit the district from releasing their child's medical information to the Medical Review Board. San Diego District Attorney Summer Stefan is making a huge push to downgrade or decriminalize thousands of local marijuana convictions. She announced today that her office has filed a motion to reduce 25,000 marijuana cases from felonies to misdemeanors. She's also asking for another 1,000 misdemeanor convictions to be dismissed altogether. It all comes in light of pot legalization in California a few years ago. All right, Dagmar Midcap's got a first alert weather forecast for you. We are looking at a beautiful Tuesday. You will have sunny skies from start to finish and your temperatures will feel much more like summer here, even in San Diego where we're used to the warmth and the sunshine than it will like we're still in winter. The coast, you'll reach into that mid and upper 70 mark. Inland valleys, you're going to be sitting right around the low 80s. Mountains, you have about that 60 degree range. Mostly sunny skies there as well. Deserts, mid to upper 70s, beautiful across the region. Enjoy your Tuesday and if that's not warm enough, we'll wait for the rest of this work week. They say patience is a virtue. I'll well, tell that to a little girl who was born today on the side of a road in Oceanside. Officers Brett Shields and Chris Marr got a call of a man whose wife was in labor around 7.30 this morning. When they arrived, they could see the baby's feet, which meant the baby was breached and could be potentially dangerous. They were able to safely deliver the baby girl you see here. She was swaddled up in her gauze and put on her mom's chest. Both mom and baby were taken to the hospital and we're happy to report they're doing just fine. It's going to do it for our nightly check-in. If you listen to true crime or investigative podcasts, check out Inside by our investigative team. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.